Hey there YouTube, welcome to my channel. Today I am excited to bring you my very first mouse review, the Lamzu Thorn. So the unboxing experience for the Lamzu Thorn actually was pretty great. It comes in a nice box that opens up like a clamshell. They give you a little quote. You get the mouse, of course. It actually comes with a sticker that you can put on the bottom. I've already put it on and it keeps dust out of the mouse, which I guess there have been some issues I've seen with people with the scroll wheel. You get your cable and a little bag to put the mouse in, as well as some replacement feet and some grip tape and your dongle, which looks like a Jolly Rancher. Not a big fan of that look, but it is what it is. Here is a quick sound test of how the clicks sound. So the shape of the Lamzu Thorn is unique and not really like anything that I've used before. Uh, I'm not a big ergo mouse person. I've typically used ambidextrous mice. I found that immediately when grabbing this mouse, it felt very natural uh, in how I was gripping it. Uh, it fills up the palm quite a bit and has a relatively large presence in your palm. Uh, that's something that's unique compared to what I'm used to coming off of a mouse like the G Pro Superlight and the Model O before that. I found that it gave me a lot of stability and confidence when I was tracking targets and uh, in click timing, just very consistent in how I was able to perform with this mouse. So my hand size is about 19 centimeters by 10 centimeters in width. And I found that the Lamzu Thorn fit very well in my hand in a claw grip. When I tried to switch to a palm grip, it could be the shape, it could just be the general length of the mouse being a little bit shorter. I didn't find that I was able to as comfortably hold it in a palm grip. I had to kind of have it sit farther forward in my hand in order to accommodate that. Or when I was gripping it and my hand was like planted on top of it, it, it just didn't feel quite right. So for me, uh, I can palm grip this mouse, but it's not really, I think, what the shape lends itself to. For me, it's an aggressive claw grip mouse. Um, fingertip on this mouse, honestly, I think someone could make it work, but I don't know why they would. Uh, I think that this shape is not designed for that. And specifically, the reason is that the thumb groove on the left-hand side is far enough forward that if you were trying to fingertip grip this mouse, the weight balance on it is completely wrong. Uh, and if you try to hold it farther back, you're now not utilizing that thumb groove. And so the mouse doesn't really make any sense for that grip style. So I think this is an aggressive claw grip mouse. Uh, if your hands are smaller than mine, you may be able to relax claw it a little bit more effectively. And then a palm grip, certain grip styles and certain hand sizes, maybe that would work for, for me. Uh, I think that if you primarily palm grip your mouse, there's still better options out there. But uh, if you are looking for something that you're going to generally be claw gripping, I think that this is one of the best, if not the best mouse that I have I have tried. The comfort of the Lamzu Thorn, I found to be pretty good. Uh, being that it pushes my hand more into an aggressive claw grip and sort of and sometimes a little bit of a relaxed claw. It is not as comfortable as something like the Death Adder V3 for, Pro for me. Uh, the Death Adder V3 Pro, being that it really lends itself to be a relaxed claw into a palm grip, I find that's just very comfortable for very long gaming sessions, where the Lamzu Thorn is a much more aggressive grip style for me and I aim really well with that, but it does mean that over longer sessions, it can be a little bit more fatiguing. That may be something that you adjust to and it doesn't end up being the case over the long run, but I did notice that playing Battlefield for five hours, six hours, uh, that my hand would get more tired than I think it would when using something like the Death Adder V3 Pro. The mouse skates that come on this mouse feel 
perfectly fine to me. I don't have a lot of experience with tons of different skates. I have used core pads. I have used the Tiger uh, ice skates on my uh, final mouse. And you know, between these and the Death Adder V3 Pro and the Super Light that I have, the I think the biggest difference is the shape of the skates on those different mice. But all in all, the glide is smooth. I've used this mouse on mouse pads like the Aqua Control 2, the Lethal Gaming Gear Saturn and Saturn Pro, and it tracked fine on all of them. I didn't notice anything. And really, I think that's all you can ask for from your mouse skates is do they get in the way? If the answer is no, then they're probably perfectly fine. So one thing to note is that there is a pretty large thumb groove in this mouse, uh, more so than I've experienced on any other mouse prior. Compared to something like the Death Adder V3 Pro, uh, that mouse has a much more flat side. This has a more aggressive curve. I found it to be very comfortable, uh, and I don't, I can't say for sure if it contributed to the overall feeling of consistency that I had with this mouse. Um, but I did find that over longer gaming sessions, my hand currently was getting a little bit tired and that could be new shape, not used to it. It could be that the mouse is a little bit small for my hand size, um, but I don't think it's a, it's a negative. It was just something that I had to get used to. My performance with this mouse was exceptional in games like Battlefield and Overwatch and Tarkov. Um, I, I was very surprised that in Overwatch especially, I felt like when I was playing hitscan characters, I was just so much more confident and I was able to track targets and hit targets much more reliably than I was able to um, with my previous main, uh, which was the Death Adder V3 Pro. And, you know, going between those different mice, it's not a night and day difference. It's not like one mouse, I'm an aim god, the other mouse, I'm not. I think that I perform similarly with most mice that I use, but there was just something about using this particular one that gave me some confidence when I was aiming and that extra stability, I think, from the way that that hump sits in my palm really gave me kind of that, what they say, locked in feeling. Uh, and it, I, I honestly don't think I've aimed better in Overwatch in a really long time. In games like Battlefield, I felt like my accuracy was very good. My ability to quickly transition from target to target and then maintain accuracy on that target was really good. That's something that I did find I think is attributed to the shape and the size of the hump on this mouse, being that when you are holding it in that a claw grip and more specifically that aggressive claw grip, it's very, very locked in. Uh, there's not a lot of wiggling around um, with the mouse in your hand. So when you are tracking targets moving across your screen, it really does require that you are doing more of an arm aim slash wrist aim, and it does remove your finger aim from a lot of those equations. There are some pros and cons to that though. It does mean that your vertical mobility is a little bit more limited than what you would find with some other mice, but I think that trade-off is that you have stability in all of these other areas. So. You know, you have to kind of pick and choose, I think, a little bit. For me, when I'm playing in more of a fingertip grip, I find that I am able to quickly snap up into the sky and shoot, you know, someone parachuting in or shoot the Pharah if I'm playing Overwatch. Um, but when I am playing something like a Tracer or a Soldier 76, where I am tracking something across the screen, I'm less consistent if I'm playing in that kind of grip style. So if you really play to the strengths of the Lamzu Thorn, which I think really is that aggressive claw grip, you're gonna find that you're very consistent. And those minor nuances of, you know, maybe having a little less mobility vertically, and if you're trying to aim at something below you, the fact that you have to maybe pull the mouse down more versus just like flicking it back into your palm. Uh, those are things that I think will adjust over time just in your gameplay and then you'll be you know overall just more consistent than what you would be with um a different mouse so to wrap up my thoughts with the lambsu thorn overall it's an amazing mouse and i think it's an amazing value 
Uh, for the price, I got this at about $90 off of Amazon. And it, you know, my previous main was the Death Adder V3 Pro that I paid $150 for. I think that the Lamzu Thorn is just such a good value and the quality of it is amazing. I have no creaks, no rattles, everything with the mouse is very, very solid and I aim really well with it. Uh, currently, it's going to sit on my desk as my main mouse and I've just, I've enjoyed playing Overwatch with it. I've enjoyed playing Battlefield. Those are the two games I probably play the most right now. And I think I will still keep my Death Adder V3 Pro on my desk as a more comfortable palm grip mouse for those times when I am just wanting to have a little bit more of a relaxed grip style. I'm not sweating as hard when I'm playing something like Battlefield. Um, but really the Lambsu Thorn has been a, quite a surprise for me and I, really just have enjoyed my time with it. Um, so would I recommend buying it? Absolutely. If you're a person that typically likes to claw grip your mouse and you, you know, find that there's, that there's some consistency issues or maybe the grip width on something like the G pro super light isn't working for you. I think the Lamzu thorn could be a great option. Um, the, the palm support that you have, the general uh, comfort grooves on it, the quality of the clicks and the scroll, I think it's definitely worth picking up uh, if that's the type of shape and the, and the type of mouse that you're looking for.